going on y'all that's a little better jimmy and macram marcus cash sp3 it's time for episode seven season four of ozark last we saw uh <laughs> uh wendy lost her mind um she went off uh but more most importantly uh, Wendy and Marty have to turn in Navarro in 12 hours? Yeah, 12 hours. Uh, Wyatt is going to marry Darlene, apparently. And, uh, there's one big thing that happened. Oh, uh, Frank Jr. Uh, wants to kill Darlene because Darlene killed Frank Sr. Yeah, Darlene's going off, but isn't, uh, turning in Navarro, turning in Javi? Isn't Navarro turning Javi in? I don't think that's no. What? How? That's how I had understood. That Navarro's got to turn in Javi. No, not that so he has to put the cuffs on him not and that fucking. He has to. Is that he's basically setting up his nephew? Well, he set him up already. He's done. It. He's yeah. done. He's yeah, already. He's already on tape. Yeah, which is why they approved the deal. I thought. Yeah, for him to be free, not for him to do time, because they're gonna put Javi in jail. No. That's all I had understood. It. I don't think at the end. At the end, they were given the. They basically have to turn Navarro in in twelve hours. At that same time, Jonah ran away. Uh, right, that was the other thing. Yeah, and before that, social services said they're going to take Zeke, and that led to <laughs> uh, led to Wyatt asking Darlene to get married. Yeah, I didn't even turn him in like he's going to prison. But he's got to turn. Oh, like he's got to show up. So yeah, we got, okay. yeah, just, you know, just free. Do what you want. Um, so I'm make sure I'm on the same page with you. That's your question. Yeah. I know when you lost her mind, right? Uh, uh, lost? Been gone. Well, I mean, like, she went off. Like, she was yeah. the only one. In particular. Outside of Wendy. And maybe Darlene. On, like, a per-game basis. Is Navarro, like, the most entertaining character? Like, on a per-game basis? Like, on a per... Every time he's on screen, outside of maybe Wendy, his scene is always... Thrilling. Even though it consists of usually, like, four words. Uh... Make it happen, Wendy. Get it done, Marty. That's it. Outrage request and then forwards. I, I love I love the uh, Wendy Navarro conversations that used to always go to them. That's why I always get excited whenever they have a phone call. When he used to tell her the story, like my maid uh, made a mistake. <laughs> she doesn't live anymore. <laughs> like, it's like, what? I'm gonna agree with you, Navarro. I got one more to add. Okay. And I'm just going to need a signature. <laughs> signature guy is perfect, even though I'm surprised he's made it to the end of this fucking first half. That is shocking to me. It's impressive. Hey, hey don't speak too soon. We but to, oh, That's a good point. We got 55 minutes to go. <laughs> you just need a signature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need a signature. By the way, your comments were great last thing. I was going to read some of them, but we're in a rush, and my phone's in there, and I can't go grab it. So... Hey, I, think, I think I can pull that up for you. Yeah. So, all of you are great. We got we got Havoc who says Wendy's only flaw in my opinion is when she's on a hot streak she'll take a heat check three and overplays her hand just a bit. That is the best. <laughs> I did enjoy that. <laughs> I, I did enjoy that. Like, like, yes, much. that is that is perfect. I went. You know what? Oh, not all. I'm tired. feeling it from half court. What? No. Let's get my kid arrested. <laughs> Jesus. This is not the end of the quarter. It is plenty of time on the show. It is thing. Oh. Wendy. Heat check. Oh, my God. <laughs> like Kyrie. Um, Laura K says, I hate where they took Wyatt's character. I really liked him early on. I didn't understand the whole Darlene thing. It made no sense to me. They had set up Wyatt up as such a smart kid with so much potential, and then they went here. Ugh. Agre- <laughs> Agree. Uh, Yuck. <laughs> Agree. Yuck. Agree. I. It feels like he's got to die, right? That's just here's hoping. Jesus. What? To be fair, he's always been emotional. Yeah. 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 He has. He has. Uh, we we also got various comments of people loving Jimmy, hating Jonah. We also got Afro Shinobi who says SP3's face in the thumbnail. Um, yes, that's that actually from the uh, by you, Jimmy. Yes, but that's actually from the uh, uh, Darlene scene where Wyatt wants to marry Darlene. That's why he's making that face. <laughs> <laughs> He's so very confused. <laughs> How did we get here? That's, that's <laughs> yeah. that was huh? that 
And then final one we got is uh, TJ Clark, who says, I once read that the teen years are childhood's menopause. As a father of grown children and as someone who has worked with teens quite a bit, I have to say I have found that statement to be true. Jimmy, you're wise beyond your years. Thanks for another great episode. Thank you. To be fair, he's really old. <laughs> and we had a couple of comments of people saying they agree with uh, Cash. Uh, one with Charles Freeman, who says, I'm with Cash on this one. Wendy's awful. It's going to be crazy to see how this series ends. Say, I, I agree. Listen, that's not disagreeing with me. I just Wendy. think she's a detriment. I don't think she's awful per se. Awful to, uh, a detriment to what? To fucking Marty. Oh, okay. A detriment, a detriment to the show, because she is the show. No, she's the best part of the show. Like, like. I feel no And we, we've said this since, like, episode two. Right. That's why when a guy listened to the paragraph, I thought I was clear in the beginning of that episode. I'm here for her doing awful things. That's why I'm here. Walt is a detriment to his family. That's why I watch Breaking Bad, to see him do crazy shit. I don't understand. I just want to see Marty get away with it. He... That's, why, that's why I watch it. Listen, the way the series is going, I wouldn't be shocked if Jonah gets shot in the head... Uh, Charlotte leaves with Marty and Wendy's left all alone. Like that would be the perfect ending for everybody. Wendy is left alone, even though she wanted to keep a fucking family together so bad. Marty gets out, and Jody's dead. We're just win for the world, quite frankly. You have a Ruth a relationship with Charlotte, huh? Ruth's gotta survive too. So give her a relationship with Charlotte, Charlotte, and she goes off with Marty. Yes. Now Marty has two daughters. Mm-hmm. He's already got two, together. He's already got two daughters. Don't tell Liz that we're gonna take it. Just. Tell her that you and I are going to talk about it face to face. We're going to hash it all out on Monday. All right. All right. Bye. This is him then still, right? Or is this I think him so. current day? Oh, he's not. Bruce is dead, so. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That'd be extra weird to be making that phone call now. <laughs> You'll see. Find new shit when we get where we're going. Uh huh. Uh huh. What are you doing? <laughs> you didn't even told her. Your hoodie no. with the. I gotta talk to you. What? As she's packing the car. Then take the damn baby. You want me to go get the fucking baby? I'll go grab that damn baby right now. Ruth, now solution. I'm not fucking doing this. I'm sorry that your boyfriend died, and I'm sorry that you're lonely. Okay, but I love her, and I'm gonna marry her. No, just wait a minute. God damn minute, just wait one fucking second. Listen, you should really confess at the moment too. You should. Like, fast. Tell him what? That she told the Casey mom. Oh. Can I at least come to the wedding? That is so sad. I guess that's a no. <laughs> oh my god, she's so fucked. I don't want Ruth to live with that. Live with fucking her getting Wyatt killed. We're okay with that, right? That's not all for her. No, yeah, I'm okay with Wyatt getting killed because he's an idiot. The Bureau has had time to reflect on the situation. Oh, God, And we have no. decided that you will be staying on as head of the cartel for the next five years. What? There will be no reconvening. This happens today. Absolutely not. Could I have a word with you, ma'am? We'll debrief after, Miller. Respectfully, ma'am. A moment, please. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's not what we agreed to before we had this goddamn meeting. Seriously, what the fuck? Yeah. We're collaborating so that we can make progress on all of it. Big picture. In here, I thought you were justifying taking five more years worth of money seizures. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now I expect you to fall in line. Yeah, because that was very professional, right? This is what quite a situation. Up the deal. Mr. Navarro can handle it. Okay. <clears throat> what can I offer you? Right here, right now. Name your price. <laughs> looking for a payout. We're looking for a relationship. A relationship. A relationship. <laughs> oh my god. You could reconsider Mr. Navarro's offer of a one time fee in addition to a year of intelligence and continued seizures. The Bureau doesn't compromise with mass murdering drug traffickers. You try when to get the fuck out of there. You are, but you are. You would be wise to make this work. Oh God, not you guys, too. 
They should just overdub fucking the raw voice when she said that. Make it happen, Wendy. These people are liars. In five years, they will fuck me again. Almost definitely. Almost. There is no guarantee, I know that. But I'm not sure you have a choice right now. Listen, you're head of cartel, you always got a choice. <laughs> I could end them all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bird, the FBI will be assuming your role for the Navarro cartel. You brought us to this historic moment and the Bureau thanks you for your service to America. <laughs> Wait, what? That is fear. Fear of the quiet. It has been a pleasure watching you work, Wendy Bird. Thank you. That's what they told Michael when he retired. <laughs> Through this, don't forget about me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this the "come run away with me" speech? No, Wendy, you're out. I know it's not really what you want, but if you're out, she doesn't want to be out. Oh my god! Does Wendy not end up alone and she just goes over to Navarro? From now on, you'll be dealing with me. Oh god! This asshole. Apparently, he's gonna die. So. Don't worry about Jonah. I'm gonna talk to him. Please don't. Don't do that. And I can see my friends. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You can. You can see your friends. You probably hate Charlotte. Look at that. Being sort of sort of. Hey, you got this, miserable son of a bitch. Nobody, and you can take over this whole fucking thing and never have to kill nobody. Ain't that the better option? Got a point there. Just please leave it. Just please leave it alone. Okay. Okay. I won't touch her. I don't buy that shit at all. I don't either. You, you have my word. I don't buy that at all. Is that a very literal translation? I, I won't touch her. Since four Ooh. guys up there with machine guns. Yeah, she, he just took four stacks. At all. I don't think they're aware of the FBI deal because these look local. They do. Oh you are being shit! Under arrest. You have the right to remain silent and refuse any questioning. Anything you say can be used against what? you in the court of law. What? The fuck are you, you doing? Right an... Is Maya fucking up the five-year deal because she was told to fall in line? Avi could think that we had something to do with this, so we just we need to be careful. You know, we need to stay aware. Get the and fuck be out careful. of here! Are you listening? To me? Enjoying a, a cash infusion of, of about what, thirty million dollars this quarter? That's a, that's a lot of law and order. It's a lot of task force funding and, and bonus bumps. <laughs> Marty's so good. <laughs> he is really good. The FBI's not going anywhere near the man. Of course not. None of this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same page. I love him so much. The airfield is taped off you can't get to your jets so just give us a little bit of time on this okay just some time don't give your 90 minutes jesus worse than his <laughs> 90 uncle. minutes it's worse than his uncle his uncle at least gives him 24 hours make it happen marty custody the leader was Mondo <laughs> what do you do i'm not a part of this anymore what don't you understand they're not up to date on the inner workings of our family jonah and they will kill you Talking too loud. Hey, to be fair, he's not listening. Apparently, his life's on the line. He's not a fucking idiot. No, I'm not going to prison over this. There's some papers I need you to sign. The papers can wait, Jim. Get to my house right now, or I start making some phone calls that make your life very difficult. <laughs> Everybody's fucking us in the ass. Blowing up in their fucking faces. Oh my god. Maya, lawyer, Javi. And now I bet Sigurd you guys could be in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Sigurd so is just gonna feel like, hey. Either you signed this. God damn it. I also have some papers I need to <laughs> sign right now. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I just wish that we could have done this a little bit later. Oh, you know, fuck. Shit. Yeah. Come on, let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm mad I didn't think of that. This morning was a long time ago, Wendy. 
to be fair. We can make this whole thing. That's a great fucking line, though. Yeah. God damn. Stop fuck! It. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! They will extradite He's insane. You back to Mexico. He's you can insane. walk away from all of this. I swear on my life. Wendy, it's not your call. Also, very apropos statements, Wendy. Bueno, sí, entiendo. Looks like God gave you another day. How about that scotch? Holy shit! Wendy the goat! Wendy saves the day again! Credit to Wendy, but credit to Marty for fucking talking enough to keep herself alive. Right. Jesus Christ. So for your sake, I hope you're not fucking me. I'm not. You'll be out in 48 hours. Wouldn't say that after all this shit. We don't know so there's a fucking room. So what did you care? You are exactly like mom. Fuck you. See? Don't a little bitch. <laughs> I said it. After Ben died, I asked you if you'd have me killed. Please. You said it's not the same thing. He had a mental illness. I just needed you to say I'd never kill you. Don't be the same. <laughs> that would have been a better line. <laughs> you ever... Think about what you'd do if they were... Dead? Yeah, I've thought about it. Oh, the hope so. Have you? A lot of close calls. We're always going to be fine. Okay. okay. Uh, next 48 hours, basically. Wouldn't bet on that. At all. Do you just ever lose your fucking keys? Or is there a goddamn thing with the DEFCON 5? Well, you know, actually, uh... Defcon One is is worse than. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bad, Marty. Well, I'm sure you'll tap dance your way straight through whatever this is. <laughs> they do have a habit of doing that, yes. If I don't, can you help me? This is where we're putting it, though. Of course, I fucking will. Is that one word? <laughs> loyal soldier, still, still loyal soldier. I love it. <laughs> Why would they make Defcon one worse than Defcon five? That's like fucking uh, the the fucking uh, justice system. Would he fucking murder one? Yeah, murder one's worse than murder three. Exactly. I don't know what Defcon stands for. I told you though. That that made that put a smile on my face through all this chaoticness. Yes, you got a soldier at least. What's that fucking will? Jesus. We're just taking him. We'll call you with the location. Come on. It's like those, like those, like those um, nuclear keys. They turn got to turn up at the same time. Yeah. Gotta keep Marty when he's separate. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Need them tad dancing their way out of here. But this you, guy. you were, you were willing to meet with him. It's over. Look, if you don't help me, I'll, ha I'll have nothing to lose, and I will expose everything you've done. Oh. I don't think you want to learn in a very public way. I don't bluff. <laughs> They're exactly the same, but they have two very different styles. Uh, Wendy and Marty, that is. Yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss, but I am going to have to ask you. <laughs> All right. Bubbles, we're gonna let's. We'll knock fifteen percent off of this. Okay, is this the one you like? She's a beauty. Okay. Twenty percent. We're gonna do twenty. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know what? That's that's rough, but uh percent. <laughs> <laughs> He's so proud of himself. You didn't have to put your children in hiding today. In a tomb with a shotgun? Jesus! How the fuck did they know that? You disappoint me. Especially you, Wendy. He said it to Jordan when he came back to the Wizards, didn't he? This is so outrageous. Like, like, he's not a psychopath. He always gives them 24 hours else he's going to murder them. And now he's like, you guys just support. Like, what? Pull the trigger on that office. Just, uh, just, just go ahead and, and lock that in. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. Just send it over. Uh -huh. Hmm. You are the Orleans now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Come in. Oh, shit. shit. You from the beginning to stop selling heroin. But you just wouldn't listen. I think maybe if we... Oh, shit. 
Sorry. Wherever you are. Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh, she's gonna think it's Frank Jr. She don't think it's Wendy? Oh. You know who did this. You you tell me who he is. You tell me where he is. You tell me his name. Tell me. Tell him. I'll tell you his name. No, you will not. Tell him. His name is Javi Alessandro. You just got Ruth killed, you fucking idiot. You're gonna have to fucking kill me! Alright, god damn it. Uh, that was episode 7, the finale of part 1 of season 4 of Ozark. Please, go ahead. Defend yourself. Defend this fucking nonsense. I hate this kid so much. Why would you tell Ruth that? I like Ruth. I don't mention her much because I love Marty and Wendy more, but still, I like Ruth. I'm gonna get her fucking chest blown out. And not in a good way. Not in a way we'd want to. The fuck? I'll tell you who he is. And the way he said it. Oh. I hate him so much. Usually I've been purpose was doing it, which is Ruth. But she's emotionally distraught. We've established at the very first episode she loves Wyatt more than anybody else on the fucking planet. Why? I don't know. But she does. Because she was like, he's the smart one. The hope of the Langmore family. Yep. Well, that's gone with the turtles. Now all hope is gone. Oh, fucking Jesus. That was a great episode. You gotta count on three now. Ugh. I thought for sure that they were going to go to that fucking wedding and fucking shoot the whole thing up. Me too. That's what it felt like. I keep showing us three now for the last couple episodes. Why are we doing that? All right. So get his shit kicked in. Oh, right. That's a perfect opportunity to kill three too. Yeah. Well, apparently you're not. Um, that was a lot. That was a lot for one episode. That was a lot in the last five minutes. <laughs> oh my God, Javi, 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 Javi! What a problem Javi is. Now he feels like he's got protection from the FBI too, like double protection. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ! He told you to stop selling the drugs. To be fair, he did several times. He did tell you, and we said to be consequences. Who told her before? Helen told her. That when Helen was alive, she was being told to stop selling drugs. Be fair, she's been due that bullet since the season finale of season one. Because she killed, she killed Dell. Yes. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> right. Even before that, didn't she stab somebody in the neck? Yeah, who cares? Okay. No, that has nothing to do with the cartel. Um, Javi, Javi owes her that bullet from the very from season one, season finale, because she killed Dell. That's that was the head that was running everything. There was there was enough walls before you got to Navarro because you had Dell involved this and that true. tore down one of the walls and systematically all these walls have been breaking down every single season since. So she was due that bully, to be honest. Uh, Darlene was owed that bullet. Uh, Wyatt paid the stupid tax. Um, yeah. Listen, while I feel very bad for Ruth. I feel nothing for Wyatt. Really? None. Now, if that was Jonah, would you feel something for him? Because he's also dealing with Darlene when he should not be. If and has, about, been, and has been told several times to stop. Talking about Jonah marrying Darlene, yeah. Jonah being involved with her in any way. What if Darlene was somewhere else? Like, next to Jonah? Like they were at the hotel numerous times. I'm very mixed emotions about Jonah right now. Really? Let's hear it. I'm curious. I'm thoroughly curious. I'm thoroughly disappointed in Jonah. That's some outrageous. We hate people's guts. We're disappointed in Jonah. What are you, Navarro? So disappointing. Disappoint me, Jonah. I'm disappointed in you, Wendy. Especially you, Jonah. What you think? Go ahead. Spit it up. Uh, it's a team effort. I'm not Tony Khan. I'm take all the credit. What's going on here? Silence! I'm the fucking uh, channel owner, channel runner, channel editor. This is my job. I'm running things. Unless here. Cash says something wrong, and then you, you, you. Then it's his fault. He's, I mean, he's an you know, owner, but it's really his thing. I don't know. That's not really his opinion. That's just the bots out there. What do you want? From... <laughs> Um, <laughs> clever 
Yeah, it, it was a wild fucking episode. <laughs> so much to unpack. Fucking, we have like whole new like story arcs for like all these still alive characters. <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. Like, uh, uh, I think the mo- only positive really is to me, it kind of tells me we're going to get uh, Thomas Patrick Egan in the second half of the season. I don't, I will get the actor, you mean? Yeah. Let's say not the character, because that nigga's a bitch. He did not want to kill fucking Darlene at all. No. Uh, all it took was a half ass payoff for him to have an excuse not to do it. I'm just waiting for the right time. The right time? What? You're a bitch, bro. No, I'm not going to ever say anything. Like, you, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't, come on. Not at all. You're not about this life. I, um, that'd be cool, though. Uh, I got to be honest. Uh, I know I forgot about it by the time the episode ended, but Maya uh, feels like she might be ready to take some of the bigger L's. She's definitely going to be demoted or pushed to the side of her, her actual job. Um, and that's assuming she doesn't catch a bullet before then. I was going to say, is she not, how did she not get fired altogether? This, this episode could have went a, a lot more smoother if she didn't have her moral compass. Uh, yes. Now listen, I'm not talking her being fucking blindsided at the meeting, which was fucked up. Yes. And then being told, I've been lying to you for months about this whole fucking thing. Yes. And now fall in line and shut up. <laughs> yes. Um, however, I do feel arresting Navarro is a bit of an extreme reaction. Uh, poquito. And, uh, it could bite you. Oh. Uh, asshole. Mucho. Um, now we know, the only thing that bothered me is that we know Marty survives. So that scene with Javi, while tense, very tense. Uh, I know he has to get into a car crash later. So, he's alive somehow. Yeah, I was, I was kind of hoping the second half of the season... You know, started at the car crash because we now have to we have to wait till for that. Like the whole season started with the car crash. That's why I was ha- I was hoping the whole family like took a car ride together at the end of this, and then that's how we we start off the second half of the season. But now we know that this is probably how everything ends. Yes, like that's an odd choice to start the season with if you're not gonna wrap it up at the, this first half. Um, MVP. I'm going to go with Wendy and Marty together because it's not often you can do that. But they were a team here and God damn it, they crushed it. <laughs> Individually, which is weird. Same goal, just not together. They got so many curveballs and they kept they kept getting on base. They kept getting on base <laughs> yes. no matter how many curveballs they got. They kept getting on base and they got some runs. They got some runs scored. Every time they th- thought they went over one hurdle, they had another hurdle to overcome. It was so weird to watch them like back to back scenes. Because like Marty's like, please don't kill me. When he's like, I'll tell everybody you fucking cunts. He's like, All right. I'm with you guys. You're together. Just different different <laughs> different styles. It's alright. Let's go cut back up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with I don't have a two or three. Everybody else, not so great. You know what? I'm gonna go with Javi. For t- <laughs> I love this. It's the silver. He got he got the cartel. He got the FBI in his pocket. He took care of Darlene. <laughs> like, it's a solid goddamn. He had a solid goddamn episode, right? No losses for him at all. Thank, thank you. All said that we've said about him. He had a great episode. Thank you said you just illustrated exactly what I'm giving Javi the MVP for this episode. Okay, he's got away with all of it. First of all, he he's, he gets rid of Darlene and Wyatt. Uh, <laughs> and Wyatt. And Wyatt. He takes over the cartel. Uh, he's got that protection. He's got FBI protection. Like he's he got to kick the shit out of Marty a little bit. That had to feel good, right? Like, <laughs> he's been wanting to do that all season. He's got nothing but wins in this episode, mm-hmm. uh, tenfold. Uh, I'll give the birds, uh, Marty and Wendy, the specifically the silver for their joint efforts. I don't have a bronze though. Uh, I guess Navarro just off happenstance. Like you were there when shit was happening. I mean, assuming he's still going to get his 48-hour deal, I guess. Yeah. Know. That's very, uh, you know, yeah. that's pendant. The FBI's definitely fucked him over a couple times in this episode. You we know what? Like, FBI? FBI gets the broads. <laughs> <laughs> FBI gets the broads. FBI got to got to arrest the drug kingpin and got the, the cartel under their nose for 10 years. Ten Not even years. five years. Like, we started off the Ten show. Years. 10 years. That was fucking great. LVP? Oh, my. 
Okay. I, I'm very disappointed in Jonah, and he would be in any other episode. But? Poor shit. But, my, what the fuck, Maya? <laughs> All of this shit that just happened in the last five minutes is because Maya went, oh, yeah? All right. <laughs> I'll show you. You'll see. Fair enough. LVP. I mean, Ruth lost money and her cousin. Ugh. By, by, by the definition of LVP, <laughs> defined it as a loser, I think Ruth lost the most that's a, in this episode. That's a fair shit. I didn't consider that. Both of you guys made... So if I had to shoot between Ruth and Maya, I'd probably go with Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> because he's going to get Ruth... Listen, um, there's no way on earth... Ruth has the cool and calm collectiveness to get next to Javi and pull the bullet on Javi, right? Right. So, she's getting her chest blown out. Not a good hey, we, we've seen Ruth in tough predicaments. But she's usually smart about it. And at the moment, she is not being smart at all. And she's usually dealing with people who are, while also not as well put together, not as off the fucking handle as Javi. Man, all she got is three left. <laughs> Jesus! Be nice to three. He's barely around, so if that. Uh, shuts down me. Sorry, uh, whoever you are. That's hilarious. Javi's hilarious. Uh, by the way, Greg. Hey, she, she took Zeke, though, didn't she? Yes. And she's got Zeke with her as she drives this car. LBP's about to be Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke lost his mom, the mom, the dad, now Darlene and Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> the birds, he lost, he lost everybody. The birds, yeah, the birds had him. <laughs> he lost them. Zeke's had a rough life. I've, I've lost anyone that's ever taken care of me. How old are you, one? <laughs> Jesus. Ugh, that was rough. Uh, plug. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> uh, that is uh, my job. Lady, please don't. You should not. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, I'd like to plug Ascension Comics. There's new comic books that I've been reading. Do you have a plug? First of all, everybody knows your line. I've yes. been reading. <laughs> um, I've been looking at pictures of <laughs> Plug. Check out our wrestling YouTube channel, True Hill Heat. You can see myself, Jimmy, every Thursday, 105 p.m. Eastern Time. AE Ramble, reviewing AEW Dynamite. And check out ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash True Hills for this logo you see behind me. You can get that t-shirt. So get that. Are you going to join us ever again? Uh, who knows? Well, there you go. Uh, post your comments down below, but only if they are in line with what I think. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> <laughs>